Good morning students. Today we are going to start with the set theory. Set theory is the first chapter of class 11 mathematics. So uh, we will discuss about a little bit of the theories first. So in this video. So this is part 1. Say I write here P1. And in part 2 we will discuss the concepts much more in details and maybe we will be proceeding with the sums from NCRT and the other important sums. So let us start this uh, set theory. So what a set is? So set is basically uh, if you just try to understand set by simple English. So this is actually a family. Set is actually a family. So it's actually the mathematical name we give to this. So if we want to denote family in terms of mathematics, we call it a set. That is simple. Nothing about it. Same thing. The family has what? The family has different members. So can you see this? Just a second, I will write it much more clearly. So, different members. The set also has different members in this. So, we call this members as elements. Okay. So, we call this members as elements. Now, how we denote set? We denote set by capital letters. Say A. A is a set of vowels in English uh, language. Say so uh, we can write A E I O U. And of course in any order. So if you write it like this also E I O A U. It's the same set. It's the same set it's not a different set so if you change the order or if you randomize the order it's not a different set we call it a same set now why it happens because see when you write the name plate is the name plate of say your address and all of your home so what you write say your father's name then your mother's name so on and so on okay so this is what this is the particular family of so what what we what i told this is the name plate name plate which we generally put on the door the front door so what we do we write the names of different candidates or different members of a particular family so do we need to follow in any, any particular order while writing? I don't think so. Because if you, uh, some people write their own name first, the mother's name second or anything. Like if, if anyone is asked that how many members are there in your family. So they don't ask that, they don't say that, okay, me, then mother, then father, that will be a different family. Or, so I want to mean that if you randomize the order, if you randomize the order, it's the same set. So that's I wanted to mean. Now, the next thing is, how many elements are there in a particular set? How many elements are there in a particular set? So that we call the cardinality. Cardinality, which is denoted by N of A. So how we call it? N of A. So can you count the number of elements? So there are five elements you can count. So we write the N of A. The cardinality of A is five. Okay. Say we denote another set like say one, three, five. So these are the first three positive odd numbers. So if I write like this, so NB will be equal to 3 because there are 3 elements. Simple thing. 
Now what we discussed till now, we discussed that set and family are the same thing. Only thing is that set is a mathematical name. So you can write the set and represent it by a capital letter and write the elements like this. So the elements are separated by comma. So the elements are same as the members. So you can write them in any order like just as we can write in any order. Okay. So this is the way we write a set. Another one more important thing. Say if I want to write A like this. A, E, then I, then again A, then again O, then U, then E. So do you think how many, what do you think? Like how many elements or how many number of elements are there in the set A? So do we write like this? That 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is it like this? No. It will be same as 5. That means the elements, elements are not duplicated while writing. So, you have to exclude the duplicated elements within the set. Now, why it is so? Why it is so? Because you, you see, it's meaningless to write your name twice or your father's name twice on the name plate. Does it carry any meaning? Because if you write your father's name twice or your mother's name twice, it will be very confusing. Okay. It is actually not needed. Okay. So we write the member's name only once. So like the, in the same way, here also we write the element's name just once. So the elements are not duplicated. So we learn from here that the elements elements of set of our set are not to be duplicated and if so and if so that means sometimes in question paper you will get something like this where the elements are same elements are duplicated so if you find like this what you will do you will consider this, you will consider this to be the same thing like you will stri strike out the duplicated elements. So you will not consider the duplicated elements. Okay. Are not to be duplicated. So this is the thing which we learned basic thing about set. Now the main thing, what is a set? What is a set? What is a set? So we say sometimes it is a set, sometimes it is not a set. So how to find out which is a set and which is not a set. So you have got now a very, very basic idea about how the sets to be written, how the elements to be counted and all. Now we are going into a little details that what is to be considered as a set and what is not to be considered as a set. So that we will discuss. See. Now, about this, I'll say that the set or the elements of a set or the members of a set are always fixed. Okay? So, what we write here, the members fixed. So, if the members are fixed, it is a set. If the members are fixed, it is a set. Here, members are not fixed that means you can change the members you can change the members you can you can change the members so that is not a set simple if you hang around with say five friends over the mall if you go to the mall with any five friends do you think that that is a family do you think that that is the family if you just select three of your uh, good friends and go to the uh, go to a movie or something like that because the next day when you go out you can select any other three friends so that means the frame selection depends on your choice depends on the situation who is available who is not so the friends or the members over there those are not fixed so if if 
they are not fixed we say that if they are not fixed that is not a set let us get into so by the way students you can uh, take a snap of this you can pause the video and take a snap of this wherever needed what i'll do i need the book that's why i'll be rubbing a part of it okay so we are discussing what is a set and what is not a set say this cardinal t you understood so n is 5 till this we need okay now say if i ask that get uh, five books uh, five uh, maths books from the uh, library okay so it's, it's your choice completely like you can get any of the five maths books maybe a class six book or a class eight book or maybe some people will bring a few maths magazines or some people will bring, bring the textbook or the NCRTs of class 11 or something like that. It's a huge collection of books are available in the school library. So you can get any five books. So whatever you bring, say any five maths books. Okay. Any five maths books. So you can bring any five maths books and your friend can also bring any five maths books. So your choice is always not the same. So your choice is always not the same. So that means any five maths book, if you put within some bracket, this is not fixed. So choices will vary. Don't you think? Okay. So that's why this kind of thing is not it's not a set got it say I, I want you to write I want you to write any any three English alphabets so any three English alphabets If I want you to write any three English alphabets, you can write anything on your choice. Like some people can write A, B, C or A, B, D. Some people can write X, O, R, anything. So there are, there are infinite number of choices, there are n number of choices are there. So this is also not a set. So that means just try to understand that this kind of questions or this kind of uh, this kind of uh, what to say uh, demands they don't have any kind of fixed answer they don't have any kind of fixed answer so these are not a set so these are these are not a set now how we can modify this so if I modify this by saying that the first three English alphabets so now you have you don't have any option other than writing a b and c do you you don't have any option right so you have to write so your preference actually goes out you don't have any preference other than writing a b and c so this kind of thing this kind of thing we call as a set because because see it has got a fixed answer and this is not having any fixed answer okay so again say any three maths any five maths book if i want you to bring uh, the uh, two volumes of class 12 or the or say uh, the all the books all the books say i'll modify this by writing all the maths books all the maths books in library all the maths books in library so what you will do you will you will try to list up maybe all the books of the library you have got no other option because you cannot exclude any one of them you have to write all the books you have to enlist the names of all the books starting from class one or maybe still nursery or class two three any any books any books those are available in the right library you have to enlist that is the work of a librarian 
he or she they cannot actually exclude any book from the library list every book has got a number that is you know it's called isbn so this is a set so you can you may you may think that this is a huge set but still that is a set so this is how the set is defined which is a set and which is not a set that means again i repeat it's you get the members are not fixed whether right? members are variable you can choose the elements as per your own choice those are not a set and where the answer is fixed whatever you are writing and whatever you are you are deciding and your friend is deciding the answer is same so that will be considered as a set okay we will try to proceed through the representation of sets now so if you uh, have any question this is not a interactive or a live session uh, you can you can write it in the comment section below or you can ask for my email id also i will interact with you so this is it see i am raising the board very quickly maybe but you can pause it at any time you like and you can copy it down so now i want to discuss about the representation the representation that means how the set is represented how the set is represented so the set representation we are trying to discuss now so now so as you have already seen that we can write set a as a e i o u so that is the representation we got so the first representation let me write first is the roster form or you can also say this is the tabular form now what is it where the elements are directly written that means say b which is 135 okay b is 135 so you can see that the elements are directly written so this is a roster form or a tabular form of representation the second one is the set builder form the set builder form or you can say property form now what is set builder form or property form the set builder form or the property form is just nothing but the language representation of this roster form that means if we write that the first three positive odd numbers so this is also in words the same thing in words so this will be the set builder form now thing is that uh, we are in class 11 okay that you must know that this is a very junior kind of uh, representation so we cannot write like this we need to be more mathematical we need to use a mathematical statement or use some mathematical symbols behind so let us try writing that now what to write so we write we first of all we represent this like, like you know like in any arithmetic or general sum or algebraic sum what we do we represent a general situation as x right so here we take that this as so you know like the, how the odd numbers are represent represented the odd numbers are generally represented by 2n plus 1 or 2x plus 1 where x is 
any number. So what we can write, the general representation is 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. But 2x plus 1, why? Because 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1 denotes what? Denotes the odd numbers. And what are even numbers by the way? It's only 2x. I think you know, you may revise. So 2x plus 1, by 2x plus 1 what will happen? Uh, all the odd numbers still infinity, like uh, many things will be covered. So we need to restrict it to just 3. So what we will do? We will write that x belongs to integers or x belongs to whole numbers. x belongs to whole numbers and so x belongs to whole number means you can put what is whole number you can put 0 if you put 0 what will happen it will be 1 if you put 1 it will be 3 if you put 2 it will be 5 so so if it is it, actually where x is lesser than 3 look at it so this is what this is the condition this is the condition we have imposed. That means x cannot be x cannot be more than 2. So only x has got 3 values. x is 0, x is 1 and x is 2. Now if it is 0 then 2x plus 1 becomes what? 1. And if x is 1 it becomes what? 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3. If x is 2, 2 into 2 plus 1, it becomes 5. So you get this, the 1, 3, 5. Are you getting? So why I have started from 0? Since, since x belongs to some whole numbers. So see, this kind of symbol like belongs to or something like this colon such that. So this uh, maybe I will discuss in a separate video. So that is a number system video that would be very helpful for you before you start learning the set theory. So uh, I think that you will you can go through that number theory also. So this symbol is known as such that it looks like a colon. Okay. So now so B is the same thing. B is now written in a much more mathematical language, which is written as 2x plus 1 such that x belongs to a whole number and x is lesser than 3. So this is how we can write a set or represent a set in the two forms. So I will write, I will try to write another way of the set builder form so i'll just uh, erase this part i'll write over here it will be better so b look at it i can write 2x plus 1 such that i change the symbol this is also such that okay this symbol is also known as such, such that x belongs to some integer. Now when you specify integer, integer is huge. It may be also negative. This is not negative, but integer may be huge. So we write that x look at it. So the same thing, I have written in a different form, here also if you grab out the values of x, so you will get 0, 1 and 2, nothing else, but you, you have to put 0, 1 and 2 over here, you will get the same answer, 1, 3, 5, but it is just a different pattern, but this is also a set builder form of the same set. So these are the two representations that we get from set, by which we can represent a set. So next part, I will uh, try to discuss the 
tires and the other things. So thank you for today.